my goodness! There really is a dragon! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. I only can do that. We cannot but... afford to act. My lord, please. Be this careful now. Rash action. I just think we need more information. What's the meaning of this interruption? Just... Jarl Balgruf is not receiving Who's visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Well, no. But I went to Helgen afterwards. The dragon destroyed the city. And people have reported that they've seen it headed this way. By Ismir, Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Um, why are you standing in God, front of me? Let's go find Faringar. Thank you. My court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. All right, very well. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. And what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. I'm already way ahead of you. Here's the tablet. Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me.
All right, I've got you the Dragonstone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Wait for me. All right, then. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You what? should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. All right, Nematis, come on. Maybe we'll finally get to see a dragon. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irelet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irelet and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I Why would very much you? like to see this dragon. No. It's very I can't generous. I to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irelet. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. All right, let's go. Nematis, come on. I've seen you helping the Yarn. If only all visitors to Whiterun were as noble. Guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. Am I running ahead? Hold on. Let's follow her. These are all the a men is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Carl, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes. Our families! Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, We're no, so House dead. Carl. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it! The first dragon seen in Skyrim! The glory of killing it is ours! If you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move out. Okay, Nematis, let's go. I 
I still can't believe that there really are dragons. I've yet to see one. Okay, do you know where you're going? No signs of any dragon right now. But it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. I see a lot of fire. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Get undercover. The dragon is still Where's around somewhere. Dragon? Okay. Quickly now. Kid, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here what? We come. Find cover and make every arrow count. All right, come on. Where is it? Something's happening. What can I do for you? Well, get back, everyone. <gasps> What's happening to me? What? What's going on? I'm glowing. What? Dragonborn. What? Me? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I, I, I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it, according to the old legends. Only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them, but I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Right. I'm, I'm you gonna try to this. Be quiet, everyone. What no. matter of power is that? Look. You've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All, right, All we ask is to look for her. <gasps> oh, what happened to that girl in the costume, Jay? 
was that? Did you hear that, Nomadus? This is not over. Come on. Jarl! Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The... So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Well, when the dragon died, it, I seem to have absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. What? Really? It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, we, we wouldn't. are honored to have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Bovent. Dragonborn. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my. Wow. Did you hear that, Nomadus? <laughs> but that reminds me, I have another task to perform that is less pleasant. Jarl, I'm sorry to have to do this. Good to see you. But I have an important message from General Tullius. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it. Ulfric plans to attack Whiterun. The General wants to lend Legion troops. I see. Give the papers to my steward. I was given strict instructions for the Jarl's eyes only. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Hmm. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelith. 
It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few <laughs> legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold did hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there, I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. An axe? How long have you been in Skyrim? Yes. Give the man my axe. If he returns it to you, it means we have business to settle. If he keeps it, then we are at peace. Should I say anything to him? Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. Understood. Good. 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 Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we Save writing a letter, Lord? Yes. To General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires. All right. I think it's time for us to get out of here. Where are you? Where did the Mattis go now? Oh, he's eating again. Come on. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Until next time. Why, thank you. I'm still here. I will certainly come back and talk to you. Um, when things are less chaotic. Come on, let's go. We're going to need to head to Windhelm and deliver the axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. Yeah.